Hi there, Chris here. Um, wanted to follow up on a few things. This this is a Yale Cyclops that I got, and this is a off on a seller on eBay who is very nice. And before she sent it out, she sent me a message saying, "No, I want you to, you know, I want to you to know and remember it doesn't have a key." Um, which is very nice of her. And I said, and I said, well, thank you for reminding me. And I said, it's really still a, a very, very cool lock. So it is a Cyclops. And I have been able to pick it. Um, it actually, I can pick it with this coat skeleton key, which fits other Yales. And I also think I was able to pick uh, in my 400 subscriber giveaway, Doug. Um, one of the locks he won was, was this. Oh, not a Cyclops, I'm sorry, but a Yale, I believe. And this was able to pick it. Um, so if you, if you find what will pick it, if you have like a skeleton key or something, you can take your sparrows and line this up and go, oh, well, that's about the same. That might pick it. So we'll pick it first with the skeleton key. And if you put it in there just right, <laughs> they don't want to work on camera. Well, maybe not. I can feel the spring tension. It's working before. Oh, it wasn't closed all the way. So maybe, maybe that was it. All right. Oh, we're open. It's just stiff. I gotta clean that up. But so that does open it. Make sure it's all the way locked up and then we can try our sparrows. Come in here. And try and get it in there. And it does relieve it and it does does open it. So I will clean that up. But anyway, it's a very cool Cyclops. Um, this is a very interesting, beautiful pack lock. It's a really tough pick. I have managed to pick it once. I will do that on camera um, coming up. But I also wanted to follow up on leashes and like the S SC, whatever this is for. And this has to do with the shaft height and what pin height does this shaft pick? And I have a couple of leashes, leashes a couple of Avis here. This is what are your standard 8345. Uh, this one is an 8145. The interesting thing about the, it has a Schlage core. The interesting thing about it is it has no bevel. But it also says, if we can see here, made in USA. And it's also the, the Suki All Pro model as well. But this is a Schleg key. And there's the bidding. This is a nine cut. So let's see how we go about picking this with the leashy. We will first put our leashy in there. And I may zoom in a little bit. So, God, my eyes. I'm going to have to look, try and look not in the camera. So, if I put tension on it, we're already picked at a nine. So, I'm going to move to the next one. A two. And then I'm going to go to a 
There's nothing in six. Go to five, four, three, a little bit of core movement, four, and we're open. Just that, just that simply on this, this slag guy. And if we go for the coating or the decoding on it, you can see right there, right where it is, it's at a nine. Two's at a, you tell me, um, is that a three? It's a four. I think three is a three. I was not good this early in the morning. And that looks like it's a two. And the five looks like it is a five. Six, there's nothing in six. So, and I should get this just to show that uh, it does pan out that way. So let's see if we can get this real quick. Oh, it has a Phillips down there. Let's zoom out a little bit. So interesting. Um, interesting lock. We'll look at the inside. You can see it has that type of spring actuator. And a pin did fall out. Now, I bought this on eBay, I can't remember. It wasn't new. And <clears throat> this has a limiter pin. And someone has come in and stuck a, whoops. <laughs> someone, <clears throat> someone lost the original one because you can see they've used a little key pin in here. And actually, um, what goes in here is one a little bit bigger diameter. So, but the key pin does work. It just falls out when you take lock part. All right, so what am I looking for? Not too much stuff going on as usual. this off. Nope. Yeah, I can't see. Too blurry-eyed. Too, too much video. Uh, let's try the other one. Come on, man, let's like get this done. Urch. Maybe if I stick it in there and try and hold it. There we go. Phew. So that, that, it's all built in there. We'll do this and get this gutted quickly. But I <clears throat> did not know that this must be built by Schlage to Avis's specs under a you know a license to, to make these in America. So you, you can see it's pin to five. Everybody needed picking. 
one didn't need picking much, but remember that's the nine pin. As you can see how long it is, and the leashy shaft picks it, which is I guess kind of the part of the point I was wanted to make on this video. Um, yeah, typical, I always do that. But I'll get it right in the, in the end. When I put it all back together. So, Bear's Back has done wonderful work with these. Uh, Helpful Lock Picker has done wonderful work with these. Um, also, Board Lock Picker has done absolutely wonderful work with these. All this, this cool leashy information. What picks what and what works well and what doesn't. And Okay, so the first pin is standard, it looks like. The second pin is standard. Third pin is a standard. This is going to be like a regular Schlage. Um, like you'd find in a regular Schlag lock. And that's, so they're all standards, so that it's easy to pick. Um, <clears throat> are the regular springs that you'd find in a Schlage. Let's take a look, see if there's any taper on these. Could be. I don't see any taper. If there is, it's just a micro thing. So that's the Made in America Avis with the Schlag Core Made in America. And of course, like I say, it's the Suki All Pro model. 8145. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm glad I was able to come up with a pick and an open for this Cyclops. A very cool lock. I will clean that up so it work, doesn't work sluggishly. Um, I'll be getting this one, hopefully on camera. It's a really tough pick. I really want to see what's in it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like, sub uh, subscribe, don't subscribe, don't like. Um, but always the best is, you know, leave a comment and say, hey, cool leashy, or hey, I hate leashies, it's stupid, or whatever. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.